It's poker. But not as you know it. Five sharks. I've done well in poker. I don't like to brag, but you could look it up. You want to go in the cage? <laughs> then try and bluff me, kid. I am the only actor at the table. Just want you to know that. I will be full of I will confuse them enough to make the wrong move. I've been in so many stressful situations in poker. I can blank all that out. The center of the whole thing is bluffing. That's right up my alley, so I should have an edge. Just looking at that lineup, you just have to talk trash the whole way. You're such an idiot! I will fly across this table and beat you. They want this done! And I'm not folding the straight. Plus, an unknown hoping not to become their bait. All competing for a million dollars. Millie ball. Ching. But can they avoid the shark cage? Welcome to the beautiful Bahamas and the PokerStars.com Shark Cage. This is the first of eight heats. The winner of each heat advances to the final, where its winner takes all with a million bucks on the line. We're keeping the game pacey. When the action's on you, you've got 30 seconds. And this is the Shark Cage. Poker's answer to the sin bin. Pull off a bluff on the river, get someone to fold the best hand, and your opponent goes into the cage, stuck in there for an entire orbit. But if your bluff gets called and you lose, then you have to miss those hands and watch the action from behind bars. Hoping to survive these shark-infested waters is our online qualifier. My name's Gareth Coles. I'm 33. I'm a retail salesman from Cardiff. Well, I was born in Newport in Wales. When I was four years old, my dad decided to emigrate to South Africa, where I grew up. When I was 20, I decided to come back to the UK. My greatest poker achievement, definitely winning an online tournament for $31,500. I won a $16.50 buy-in scoop. After the win, I didn't do what most poker players do and use it as a bankroll. I actually put in a new kitchen and took my wife to some nice places. Well, not my wife, my girlfriend, actually. Call it the wife, I've been with her 16 years, so. If I won this event, I'd be able to go and see my father. My dad's ill at the moment. I don't know how long he's gonna be with us. I'll be able to take my boy James to go meet him for the first time. It would be a great opportunity. And, uh, yeah. For each heat, our online qualifier takes up the one seat. Like predators circling their prey, it's time for the sharks to figure out where they sit in the food chain. So, Jen, draw first. I played with most of them. Phil Locke, I've played with a lot. Jennifer Harmon's been playing poker forever. You know what I'm gonna say? He talks a lot. I'm just gonna have to read between the lines. I want Phil to go before me. <laughs> Wait a minute. No disservice to the rest of the group. They're all fine players and stuff, but Lex is a whole special type of beast. People expect me to play crazy. The whole thing is kind of bluffing. So that's right up my alley. Oh, no, 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 I said it. No, I said it before you do it. You don't get a free roll. Well, you gentlemen discuss it. I'm going to let Tony draw. What happened to alphabetical order, for God's sake? Obviously, everyone knows Jason Alexander from Seinfeld. I grew up watching Seinfeld, watching him. So I'm really stoked to get to play with him. Tony, yeah, I know absolutely nothing about him. All right, Jason's going to go next. The level of excitement that I have right now, it couldn't be more exciting if the cage was going in the water with actual sharks. Okay, okay no. so this is what I'll do. I'll do this. You pick odd or even on the time that is on Jennifer's clock. Okay. Or just look down, and if you get it right, you pick who goes next. Okay. 
Lex, I'm not familiar with. I hope he's not Superman's nemesis. <laughs> Just like a supervillain, he's deep in the lab, charting all the possibilities. Okay, odd or even? Uh, even. Okay, what time is it? It's uh, th three, 1.23, so it's okay. odd. So I've, okay, so definitely you pick. <laughs> this is crazy. Five. No! That's terrible. Is that really the four? Oh. How much you guys bet? Nothing, but now he's gonna get crushed. That's the oh, thing. Oh, because you have position. The bluffer has position. I should have just picked. But if I pick and he's right. So let's get things underway. A brand new show. This is the first ever heat of Shark Cage. And it's time for our qualifier, Gareth Coles, to take his seat. Gareth won his seat in this tournament for free online. How are you, man? Nervous. It's just the cameras. They don't exist. <laughs> Ignore. No, 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 we need the cameras. So this is a single table tournament with the winner advancing to the final. Everyone starts this heat with a million in chips and the blinds start at 5,000, 10,000 with a 2,000 ante. To put it simply, win two sit and goes, win a million dollars. I can't play any hands, I'm handcuffed. If I play that hand, I got two super wizards that are gonna Lex Luthor me to death, you know? I got James Bond and I got the villain, Lex Luthor. How am I gonna get out of it? I'm trapped. Phil's got a great point. Lex is a nutbag, and when the nutbag gets to act after you, you can get into some big trouble. Well, Lex has raised it up with Ace-9 suited. He's been called by Gareth with King Jack. Lex has the advantage of not really caring about looking stupid on television. He's done it plenty. Well, this is a good flop for Lex. Two pairs. Gareth needs a queen to make a straight. Lex has bet. And Gareth calls. Three on the turn. That doesn't change anything. I think Gareth gives up here a lot. Looks like Lex is betting again. Oh, maybe Gareth doesn't believe him. Maybe he wants to set up a river bluff. Yeah, of course. If you successfully bluff the river, you send your opponent into the cage. So a seven on the river. Does Gareth check, hoping King High is good, or does he try to put Lex in the cage? He checks. How much do we love the shark cage clock? It's brilliant. Just boom, it's a yeah. counting down. 29, uh, 28. Uh, you know? Sweet. Back. All poker should be like this. 24. Lex's clock is running. Everyone know we, can, we, we could be doing. I like that. God, 30 All seconds. Poker. It's a fortune of time. Fortune of time. Now there are buttons under the table, so players can indicate if they're value betting or bluffing on the river. On this occasion, Lex has pressed the value button. <laughs> 15. And there's his bet. Not a bluff, but Gareth can always check raise bluff him back. No, he faults. Correct lay down, even though he lost the hand, still an okay start. Was that a bluff? I need to protect my image for later, so the first couple ones, I don't care about the 100,000. So Actually, in the interest of fairness, if he had pressed the bluff button, he would have been forced to show the hand. When you don't see his hand, then the truth yeah. comes out. Gareth, very happy he didn't get bluffed, aren't you, buddy? Aren't you? Yeah, he's happy. Gareth, is that, you're wearing a focus test watch, right? Yeah. Is that because you want a scoop or because that. you have five million VPPs? Uh, scoop. Okay. Maybe he's got two of them and he left the one for five million VPPs at home. Ever think of that? He only has 4.8 million. Why, what's better? Well, what if, if, you, if, if it's for five million VPP, it, me it means he plays like millions and millions and millions of hands online, so. Oh, okay. And the other one is if you won a tournament. Anybody can win a tournament, right, Lex? Right? Burn. Jen has raised. Wow. No, he should JG that <laughs> just put both on. <laughs> Look at Phil Locke. I want to live on whatever planet he's on. Seems awesome. That was a very reluctant call there, Phil. <clears throat> Quiet little call. We don't know if he's thinking about raising or if he's thinking about... He could be thinking about combining a robot with a unicorn and calling it a robocorn. You just don't know it, Phil. Four ways. Jen's raise has been called by Phil, Gareth, and Jason. Gareth has the best hand, a pair of queens. Jason's flopped a gut shot. Check. Just Check. ace high for Jen. 
And it's been checked to Phil Locke in position. I think Phil takes a stab at this more often than Norman Bates. He's betting with just eight high. Gareth calls with his pair of queens. I think I know what you have, Phil. Pretty sure you don't. Jason and Jen I'm pretty and sure. You know turn. what, Jen? Whatever. So just Phil and Gareth going to the turn. Brick. Is Phil going to bet again? Gareth has got a lock on this hand, but speaking of locks, here comes Phil. Could be fixing to turn this into a three-barrel bluff. Undeterred. Heads up to the river. Gentlemen, please remember to signal for any aggressive action on the river. Mm -hmm. The king of clubs. Gareth might be a little bit worried about that card. And Phil is pressing the bluff button. He's going to bluff the river. And if he gets Gareth to fold the best hand, our qualifier will be the first player ever to enter the shark cage. So mean. I'm not all in, by the way. <laughs> Classic Phil. The time chips are. Time chips are in. <laughs> if Gareth calls, Phil Locke's going into the cage. I must be ahead, but... I'm not rooting against Gareth, but I am rooting for the shark cage. No! Don't worry. Yes! I'm folding. Gareth says he folds. <laughs> no, I understand. I'm kidding. And he didn't push I'm kidding. the button. Oh, yes, he did. And he, he did push the button. Oh, in the cage. <laughs> I knew you were bluffing. I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> I did. I said, but I can't call it. I knew. That's my call. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Phil's going to get our first bluff chip. That was so much fun. Yes, oh, it God. was. And you get a shark yeah. chip out of it, Phil. Sending a player to the cage earns you a bonus chip, which is worth an extra 100,000 in the final, assuming you actually make it to the final. Gareth, I, I love you, Kim, but I had, that was too much fun. I couldn't help myself. Beat's gone broke in the first five seconds. I was a bit annoyed I folded because in the back of my mind, I did know that I was holding the best hand. I just didn't have the balls to call. Typical being the first one in. And I knew I that he was bluffing as well. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. But I just wanted to get back out there to, you know, uh, start playing again. I thought that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. It's your big blind. Do you want to take it or not? <laughs> oh, that's cool. I would have folded. You did the right thing. It's OK. What an idiot. <laughs> I need to get back out there so that I can challenge these guys and hopefully send them to the cage. Think you could avoid the cage? Try to qualify for Series 2 of Shark Cage at PokerStars.com. Our online qualifier has become the first ever player to experience the PokerStars.com Shark Cage from the inside. With blood in the water, the sharks have gone into a river bluff frenzy. Let's see if we can get this heads up somewhere in there. I want to be heads up with one of you guys on the river. Let's do it. <laughs> heads up time! Bring me the heads up sickness. Bring me there safely. What is it like yes, to be in your brain? It's like uh, Willy Wonka and Alice in Wonderland combined, I think. Is that what it is? Have you seen one flow over the cuckoo's nest? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a long time in the cage. Really? <laughs> Earlier, we asked the Sharks who they'd most like to put behind bars. In this heat, I would like to send Phil Locke to the Shark Cage. Phil, he would be fun. Well, I, you know, only because it's a, it's a charming rivalry. If I could put uh, Phil in the cage. He has such, so much OCD and he can't sit still. I just want to see him sit in a cage, not being able to do anything. Phil would have a huge reaction. Um, and with somebody like him, you just have to talk trash the whole way. You just, he's Phil Locke. Even a bomber should be in jail. That's the way I feel. Are there any players that would give me greater or less pleasure in sending the shark cage? Like Gareth, I just met him today. He seems like a nice guy. What, to what benefit do I have sending him 
you know, anywhere. Like, I love the guy. I don't know him, I don't, but like, be just as happy as getting sent there as sending them. What would you say if I told you that everyone I've had so far has said they'd like to send you to pay? <laughs> Actually, the truth is that makes me feel loved and warm, and uh, it's cozy because they are basically saying, yeah, I just want to like, you know, have a domino effect of good things happening. And it's not a bad thing to be sent to the cage. Remember, when you're in the cage, one good thing is this, you're in the game still. You're just playing a super tight game. You're folding your ace king under the gun, like whatever. It doesn't, it's not the end of the world. It, if you end up in the cage, that's just the result of uh, doing, doing your best gone wrong. That happens a lot in poker. So just get used to it, you know? The original cut of that interview? Six hours. Welcome back, brother. Gareth retakes his seat, and the blinds are going up. They're now 6,000 and 12,000 with a 3,000 ante. Ooh, pocket queens for Jason. This is just like that episode of Seinfeld where George is dating two women who won't let him break up with them. It's a classic. He's raised. Action now on Phil. Phil now on another planet. He's definitely the Kramer. Oh, he's got kings. This is going to be a shame. And I should get all my Seinfeld references in now because it looks like George is about to be very upset. Phil just calls. This could be the worst thing to happen to Jason Alexander since David Hyde Pierce. And it's a low flop. Nothing to let Jason know, his hand might not be good. He bets. Phil played it like a little sneaky snake before the flop. Will he just call again now? Yup. Probably doesn't want to scare Jason off the way I did when I asked him if he wanted to see the monk's diner I recreated in my basement. Phil still way ahead. Still very bad for Jason. Very, very bad. And it looks like he's betting again. Phil maybe raises now, maybe smooth calls. Maybe he gets a message from the mothership, beams right on out of here. Phil's clock is running. Five <laughs> seconds, Phil. Time back. He's requested an additional 30 seconds. Oh, cool, and it adds on. Oh, nice, I like it. I know, it's so awesome. Yeah. It's like genius. Also, I'm very disappointed that Phil had to use a time bank chip, because he was all like, oh, these are useless. Now this acting job is how you win an Emmy, Jason. Just kidding, you were robbed, but David Hyde Pierce was pretty good. Phil just calls once again. And still, nothing out there but low cards. Such an unfortunate run out for Queens, because it looks so good. Eh? Jason's pressed the bluff button? Okay, typically betting queens here wouldn't be a bluff, but technically it is a bluff, so he pressed the wrong button, but he's right. He pulled the old switcheroo. Jason making a very small bet. This is getting called. There's the call. A three is good. Jason shows a pair of queens. Phil shows oh, a pair of kings. You mother. <laughs> Nice yeah, buddy, don't just sit there. Jason did press the bluff button. And Phil called him, which means we're going to send Jason to the cage. Really? <laughs> wow. You push the bluff? I did. You push the bluff? My gift to you. I don't think anyone considered how awkward it was going to be when we had to send a celebrity in there. Awesome. <laughs> He is so bad. He's such a bad player. How do you how do you chase with the Kings? How do you do that? They took a game that's already complicated and difficult and that I'm not very good at and added complications. So why did he push the bluff button? He didn't know I didn't have ace three. I could have had ace three. Not since Torquemada and the Inquisition has this kind of cruelty been inflicted upon a small Jewish man. They don't give you a chair, they don't give you food, no water. Might as well put a shark in here. You want help in this world? Get a dog. 
That's what my mother told me. Jason, you're up. Am I up? No, it's one more. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> the thing you don't want to do when you know the pros <laughs> or when you're in front of the cameras, I didn't think it through, is to have the whole world going, what a schmuck. Rough. It's rough in poker. George got that security guard a stool, at least. All right, we have a dead big blind with this hand, gentlemen and lady. That's for the people who pay attention. I have to announce it. spell it out. I have to announce it. What is he announcing? Something about time. No, nothing. Yeah, 53 said, seconds. He said it, I have 25 seconds left. So. Phil Locke does not acknowledge the existence of time. Lex is raised. Oh, you want to be with Jason that bad? And Gareth is called. Crazy. <laughs> you might get some company. I do magic tricks in here, so. Jason Alexander really is actually a trained magician. I want to go visit Jason over there. <laughs> 40. Both players have a pair and a draw. Gareth can't fold. I'll just stick those in. He calls. Lex is ahead, but not a huge favorite. Oh, Gareth picks up a flush draw to go with his straight draw. Do, 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 do. They're just hanging there like, our collusion is going brilliantly. I knew I had to fade pens, jacks, yeah. queens of the queen king. I thought you had a smaller pair of the ace king. Yeah, sure. that's what I was trying to just lead you to believe. Way too comfy in there. It's bigger than my apartment. Check, check on the turn. The deuce of diamonds. So Lex is ahead. Please remember to signal for any aggressive action, gentlemen. Gareth should just check. You almost forgot about it, huh? Wouldn't have gotten your shark thing. What is this? You didn't even press anything. So what? What is this? Does that mean that it can never be a bluff? Correct. What is this craziness? Wait, I get over here with the talking oh, yeah. about. This. Jason, you stay. Phil, he bet the river and he didn't press the button. So what does that mean? He didn't press a oh, button, you he can't the comment. Interpretation? I can't oh, comment. Wow. Yeah, you're not allowed I'm to talk. I'm not allowed to talk. It's yeah. how many seconds? You got seven seconds. Oh, I call. Oh. <laughs> nice call. What do you have I got a six. I have a nine. Gareth is showing six, seven of hearts. Did you show the bluff sixes? button? I didn't press he it. Did not press the button. Did, did he I put like his hand though. down? Did he? Did he? I like it. It's a good strategy. Oh, wow. Not sure if Gareth forgot there or if he was playing some kind of angle, but. It confused Lex, and he nearly used the full 30 seconds on his shot clock. Oh, can we talk about the shot clock? The shot clock's genius. Genius! I'm more intuitive, so I kind of go with my gut. I kind of like it, because it doesn't give me time to get in my head and think things through and then make mistakes. The clock is not going to affect my game at all, because uh, I play online. I'd have no problem at all. Some people take too long making decisions, and I also think you just have some people who tank to make everyone else at the table uncomfortable, which is really annoying. Are you checking how long you're gonna Hollywood? No. In extreme case, where you have to do a little bit of math, I mean, you can just do lump approximations even and get that in four or five seconds. Yeah, your hand is dead in 12 seconds, so. The clock that gives us 30 seconds to make a decision is a true disadvantage to someone like me who doesn't play as much poker as the pros. Uh, I don't think the shot clock will affect me in any way. I think I could do it with five seconds as well, so it doesn't bother me. It's actually nice for me to know that other people will be stressing about it. I'm so chicken. So what it does is it puts everybody on instinct. You got seven seconds. Oh, I call. I think it's an improvement on live poker in general, and I wish it were a part of every live tournament. One winner, 30 seconds, it's like... Can I borrow your balls, please? <laughs> Let's go. Buttons to push. It's like the Old West. <laughs> All right, what happened while I was gone? What are, where's... 4,000, sir. 4,000 one of our blinds now? 816. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Be gentle, Phil. I'm tender. Do it again. Do it again. I have to admit, I like it. I want someone in the cage now, Daddy, now. Jason was in there one hand ago. Too long. That was a good thing to do. If you're going to pick a thing to do, that would be a thing to do. Still 16, right? Raise. <laughs> Jen's raised here with pocket sixes. Tell you what, Joe, let's play this hand from her perspective. Let's go in the tank with Jen. I am in the tank with Jen. She's been called by Gareth. I expect him to have overcards most of the time. Yeah, that's not a good flop for a pair of sixes. 
I think this flop is going to hit Gareth enough, but we can see bet. Try to protect our hand, win this pot right now. Okay. Jen does bet. If Gareth calls here, I think the worst he's going to have is a gut shot. Most of the time, I think it's going to be a significant piece. The turn card is a seven. Not a bad card for us, but I'd like to slow it down here. We're not getting him to fold an ace, and probably not a king either. The action goes check, check. A three on the river. Seems like a brick, but Gareth is going to bet. Question is... Which button has Gareth just pressed? I'm just proud of him for remembering to press the button at all this time. He bets. Around half the pot. I don't think this is a bluff very often. I can't imagine what hand he's got here that we're beating. Queen Jack and Jack Ten are the only ones that come to mind. Like a hunchback, it works at a laundromat. I am leaning towards a fold. Time's running out, Jen. Time. She's used one of her time bank chips. And this is right after she said she prefers not having a lot of time. I honestly have nothing to say for another 30 seconds. This is awkward. She might be overthinking this one. It's the cage factor. Oh, I don't want to go in the shark cage. So make the call. Worst case scenario, you lose the pop. Best case, Gareth goes back in the cage. You score a bonus chip. Did he push the button? Did he push it? I need to know! I don't want the public to think, oh my gosh, she plays awful. Oh, I don't want to go in the shark cage. So is Jen off to the cage. Tiger tweets, shark cage. Before the break, Jen Harmon faced the painful prospect of some time behind bars. Oh, I don't want to go in the shark cage. Gareth Coles may have been the first to experience isolation, but has the qualifier turned the tide on the sharks? Did he push the button? Did he push it? Too soon to tell. I did. No! Oh. She's safe? He had a better hand than she did, so she doesn't go. Wow, wow, you're seven or something. Close, two sixes. <sighs> Good fold. <laughs> wow. So Gareth Coles wins the pot but fails to lock up Jen Harmon here in heat one of the Pokestars.com shark cage. Gareth thought he was bluffing but actually had the best hand. And look, he's doing really well. When is someone going back in the cage? It's been like forever. Bill Lock first to speak here. And that is a race. Gareth also has a suited ace, and he calls. Domination nation for Gareth. If an ace flops, he could be in big trouble. No ace on the flop. Both players miss. One club, one heart. Back doors all around. Phil bets. Gareth probably not folding ace high for just one bet. Sure enough, he calls. And Gareth picks up a flush draw on the turn. The NFD, the nut flush draw, Check. takes the free card. And that's a blank. So Phil has the best hand with ace jack high. Oh, but Gareth's gonna bluff. Good luck to you. He bets about a third of the pot. I think Phil's gonna snap this off. It's a weak bet on a weird board. He does call, and you know what that means. Cage it. Ace high, ace eight of clubs. Guy spends more high. time behind bars than Papillon. Gareth did press the bluff button, which means we are going to send him Stacking back up. to the cage. Wow, wow. Phil is just stacking him. Big call. You devil. You devil, you were up the devil shit. <laughs> <laughs> Forced me to make thin calls where I don't like to do it. Yeah.
I think being in the cage once already uh, was playing on the back of my mind. How many do you have now? Three? <laughs> They're worthless guys unless I, you know, close it out. Second time in the cage was probably even worse because I'd actually put myself there. I'm thinking I've been sent here twice now. This isn't going too well at the moment. He's really just like walking around bored. It's so funny. It's not a great spot to be in over there. I'm not going to worry about the sharks. I'm just going to get back in there and uh, take it to them. I just want to get my chips back from Phil. And that's what I intend to do. The cards run right. You can beat anyone in the world. Anyone can win, and in this case, they win a million dollars. Gareth, it's your big blind. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to needle you. I'm just saying it only gets better from here. But I am going to do a little raise key. We're going to go 54,000. <laughs> Tony Dunst is reasonably short. All in. How All much in. is it? I need to count. About like 510, 530, I guess about 525. Is that my clock now? I have 20 seconds? That is your clock now, yes, sir. Kind of a lot to call with Jack 10. Wow, what a leveling war. Holy cow. But with a structure like this, you can't really hang back and wait. 10 seconds. Time. Phil has thrown in a time bank chip. Jack 10's almost never going to be ahead here, but Phil may like the prospect of eliminating someone. I'm pretty sure he made his decision 10 seconds ago. Right now, he's just thinking about cats and rainbows. They don't even give you a chair in there. <laughs> what exactly happens when time runs out? 10 seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> One second. Hand is dead. That's what happens. Your hand is declared dead. Gotcha. Good move, Tony. Let's welcome back our qualifier, Gareth. <laughs> welcome back, sir. Thank you. Welcome nice back. You. you didn't miss a thing. You know, as soon as you get in, it should go you look and wham. big sound effects should go wrong. And it should start filling with water. <laughs> yeah. It's a shark. I like cage. that one. Yeah. You come back, you're wet. Uncomfortable, your shorts are tightening up. Shrinkage! <laughs> I was in the pool! I was in the pool! Oh, and speaking of shrinkage, Jason Alexander, shortest stack. Hold it around to Jason. Forty-five. Derp. Forty-five? Can he make it forty-five? Can I? 48, That's what I meant to say. The correct answer was moops. Phil has called. So these two will tangle again. We have a race type situation if we see all five cards. Ooh, drama. A set of threes for Jason, a flush draw for Phil. See at the river. 65. Jason bets. Phil's definitely not folding, I know that much. Phil raises big. Get it in. Phil could be doing this with lots of draws. Set of three is almost always the best hand here. All in. Jason moves all in and Phil calls. Jason is a massive favor, but Phil does have outs. And if he hits, Jason will be eliminated. Oh, why didn't I play it slower? I'm going up to heaven on that big river boat. <laughs> a river boat would actually be good for him. It's a jack. More outs for Phil now. There's really things you can avoid, Tristan. It's easier to avoid than to help. <laughs> a milli milli free roll. This would be a time for a spade or a ten on huh? the milli free roll. <laughs> Summer of George. Yes. Tristan. Handsome. That's not a spade or a ten. Man. That is not a spade or a ten. Personality. You're the best. Huh? Philly, God bless you. That was a lot of chips. Phil is in trouble. Meanwhile, Jason Alexander is now number two in chips. Jason Alexander, live tournament earnings after this tournament.
One million dollars. Quite a bit of cash goes down on the table before I open my mouth. Phil actually taught me the game. Be gentle, Phil. I'm tender. He basically said, play the winners, fold the losers, don't get sucked out on the river. That's the whole game, according to Phil Lack. I'm such an idiot! Ah, oh, come on, you know what? Can I just say something? Turn off the sound for a second. Go yourself. The qualifier, I'm gonna assume he's never been in front of cameras before. That may put him off his game a little bit. And anybody that sits down at a poker table with poker pros is shaking in their boots. It's not just a dislike, it's, I don't, I, I, I hate you. <laughs> If I have any advantage here, and I have none, it's that I am the only actor at the table. Can you do a really low-class British accent? Yeah, like a Cockney, like a Cockney kind of thing. Yeah. For, for the Beatles, for God's sake, you know. Yeah. I think, I hope, I pray to gods I believe in and gods I don't believe in, that it will confuse them enough to make the wrong move. You know, it'd be really good at faking these guys out, David Hyde Pierce. Okay, just kidding. I seriously am the biggest Seinfeld fan ever. Big hand for our online qualifier. Ace king for Gareth. Not sure it's gonna get much better than this. He raises. Jason and Jen have both folded. Phil Lott with ace 10. Well, this is a cooler. No way it doesn't go in. Phil's just too short. I'm all in. Phil shoves. Cool. And Gareth Coles putting his nemesis at risk. Domination Nation, and this time, Gareth is the president. It's a bad spot to be in. Now I can really put my flip-floppies on, huh? Oh, the ultimate revenge for me sending you to the box all those times. <laughs> Big moment for my boy, Gareth. King on the flop, dealer. There it is. Yes, come on. Phil's gonna need runner, runner. Payback's a bleep. So like Remember, nothing's easy. Jack of Diamonds is a fun card for you. Yeah. Club on the Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds. Club on the chain, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the first one out. Well, at least there's still always your movie star girlfriend, Jennifer Tilly. Phil's out. I'll see you, girl. Bye, honey. Phil collected three bonus chips, two of them from Gareth, but now they go to waste. <laughs> there's 47 losers and one winner. I feel like unless somebody does better, I'm in second place now because I busted, but I got a water and a banana for the road, you know? And you need nutrients to live and you need water to hydrate. So I feel like second place is strong, you know, and I'm glad to represent second place. And if somebody should come and bump me, they can. But if we don't tell them, I might get it. What a shocker for the Unabomber, but sweet revenge for our online qualifier. Up until this point in the heat, it hadn't gone too well. Phil Lark sent me to the cage twice. Of course, yeah, it's a good feeling to have knocked him out. Now that I've taken out Phil, I think I'm in charge of the table at this point. We are down to five at the Pokestars.com shark cage, and our online qualifier is having the last laugh. I definitely think they all underestimated me a little bit in the beginning. They definitely were trying to get a response out of me. Gareth, I, I love you, kid, but I had, that was too much fun. I couldn't help myself. I would have folded. it. What an idiot. <laughs> I didn't really let it affect me that much, although from time to time, you could tell on my face that I wasn't too happy. He's really just like walking around bored. It's so funny. Lex was giving me more jip than anyone on the table. It's your big blind. You want to take it or not? <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm on the needle. <laughs> yeah, I want to get my own back. I give Lex a decent challenge. Gareth Coles, chip leader, my boy. Hey, uh, hey, Gareth, where's David Brent? Where's Tim? Is he putting your stapler in some jelly? What is this, 2001? Blinds are currently 40,000 and 80,000 with a 20,000 ante. Lex is a short stack. 
All in. And he's all in. Call. And he's been called by the qualifier. Big time call. Damn it. Domination Nation again, and it looks like Gareth is going to be dictator for life. A 71% chance we lose Lex here. Sorry. Preemptive sorry. Yeah, I mean, it's King coming. of clubs, queen of Give us a queen on the flop. Don't get greedy, Gareth. There it is! Yes, come on. Lex is bound. If you want to make it up, you can put a 10 out. It's got to be at least a sweat. 10 for a sweat. Ooh. Oh. That's going to be oh, painful. Geez. More painful than know. jumping on a bike with no seat. Lex needs a jack to survive. Boom. Seven of diamonds. Boom. Gareth KO's another player. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Pleasure, bro. It was a pleasure, Jason. Good, good luck. Thanks. Have fun. Don't trip on your way out. Classic Lex. <laughs> Whose house? Veld house. He's out. We're down to four players. And for Gareth Coles, revenge is a dish best served cold. Me and Phil kind of dominated the earlier levels, and then we both started losing all-in situations where we both had flips. Even though I just busted, I think this was the most fun experience I've had playing poker last few years at least. Lex may be leaving with fond memories, but it's the Welsh wrecking ball with all the momentum right now. I really enjoyed silencing Lex. He gave me a lot of sticks, so it was nice actually sending him home without a million. The only person really that I need to watch at this stage is Tony Dunst because he's been playing quite a tight game. Hopefully I get heads up with Jason. He's probably the most inexperienced out of the players on the table. I know I can play with the best and beat them. It'd be pretty cool to have at least one qualifier make it to the final. These chumps don't need the money. Okay, maybe Jason, his last TV show was on for like three episodes. All in. Tony Dunst bets oh. everything he has. I completely call that. <laughs> Still got it. Jason Alexander ahead with Ace King. I got the sucking out kind of hand. Wouldn't even have to be that much of a suck out. It's not far behind. Ace King holding. Further behind now. Tony Dunn still looking for a nine or a ten. No additional outs. He's out. Jason, master of his domain. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Great Glad it was you. Jen, I'll take a hug. You got it. All right. Best of luck. Yeah. All right, good luck, guys. It's been fun. Thanks again. Not a moment yep. too soon. Happy, Pappy? Well, now we're down to three players. The shark cage is no longer in play. We're at the business end with a seat in the final up for grabs. And a shot at a million bucks. Lines are up again. Action on Jen. All in. A call. She shoves and gets called by Gareth. Domination Nation again. And this time, Gareth, Kim Jong il. Done it before, can do it again. 28% of the time, it happens every time. Flop is 5, oh. 9, 10. Oh, you have an up and down. That's an interesting plus. hand. Gareth can't run hot forever. He needs a king, queen, or eight to eliminate Jen. Same outs with one card to come. come Another on. small come baby, baby, baby card, not an eight. King. Five. King or an eight. A three. King or an eight or a queen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a king. Yes. king. Come on! Must be nice, buddy. Must be nice. Oh. Third place here at the Great to see you, honey. Nice Thanks to see for you. Playing. Go sorry, get him. Sorry for shouting, but. You're fine. Well done. Don't worry, you're excited. It's okay. I won't slug you this time. 
Another one bites the dust. He is super cute when he's happy. Look at him, he is adorable. Good luck, everyone. Jen Harmon is the original female nosebleed player. She's played single pots worth over a million dollars. Hey, Gareth, congratulations, man. You too. Good playing. It's fantastic. Two of the best. There's one person left to knock out now and get to that final. A million dollars is a million dollars. There's no sneezing at that. It would mean everything to my family, uh, of course. It would set us for life. Coming in second isn't worth I can definitely win this heads up match. Congratulations on making it to heads up, gentlemen. Please shake hands and may the best man win. Good job, brother. Good luck, brother. Have a great one. Jason is secretly rooting for Gareth, and Gareth is secretly rooting for Gareth. So, Gareth. Not that this would mean anything to me emotionally, but do you have a favorite TV show of any? <laughs> uh, it will be the Shark Cage once. Uh... <laughs> oh, well nicely done, nicely hey. done. At least he didn't say Frasier. Lines are high, and Jason's short. All in. Big moment. Gareth has an ace. Call. And he calls. You're way ahead. Not way ahead, but ahead. You know it would be fun, like, just two hearts on the flop would be... I mean, for the, not for me, for the fans, two hearts on the flop would be, right? That'd be fun to watch. Yes, but we'll have to get the stretcher ready for Gareth. Gareth a 62% favorite to win that first seat in the final. Ace high still ahead. Stay with me, dealer. Come on, all in qualify needs to do it. Hold. Yes, come on! That will do it! Congratulations, man. Come on! Gareth Coles is through to the final! Come on! Which means he's only one win away from a million dollars. Come on. Can we do it here again? Yes! Come on. After the worst start imaginable, the online qualifier has done it. Well, when the ace came on the turn, it was an absolutely amazing feeling. I knew that I'd booked my seat to the final and the best odds I'll ever have at winning a million. I imagine my dad is going to be really happy for me and, of course, the opportunity to go out and see him as well. It just seemed as though it was uh, written in the stars. Gareth overcame all the odds to take the first seat in the final. Next time, seat number two is up for grabs. I want to put someone in the shark cage. I'm more concerned about how I get Mr. Grissom over in that cage. I don't like to do that, Theodore. We have that cage. We should have, like, a dominatrix with a whip come out. Oh, no. Like, all the are in there. One million dollars. Who couldn't use a million dollars?